What's up, everybody? This is Cody, a.k. DFS Prodigy, coming to you live to talk about the upcoming FanDuel NFL slate for Monday Night Football featuring the Vikings and the Bears. So, as y'all can see, the slate is a little bit different on prices with Dalvin Cook priced up at $17,500. So, let's just start it off. So, we have Dalvin Cook, like I said, $17,500. He's going to be the top guy. He's going to be the top MVP guy. Go ahead and just lock him in and cash. I mean, the Bears' defense is scary because of them stopping Derrick Henry a couple weeks ago and holding him to only less than 70 um, yards. Um, so, Dalvin Cook, lock him in and cash. GBPs, I like him on the other side. And even the BP slot, I definitely like him. So, Dalvin Cook, to say the least, is a guy I'm all over. Kirk Cousins now needs to throw the ball a little bit more than normal in order to, for this team to basically stay in it. I think that the Bears defense is going to be good at um, stopping Dalvin Cook. So I think Dalvin Cook's going to have to be a pass catching option. And I think Kirk Cousins is going to have to step up and throw Dalvin Cook the ball. And then I think on the other side with Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, he's going to have to throw, look to them for more targets. So to say the least, I think Kirk Cousins is going to have to step up to pay off his price tag, which he tends to stay in the pocket a little bit more when they're facing the Bears. So Kirk Cousins, I don't mind him. But Nick Foles for $1,000 cheaper is a guy I'm liking much more. At 13500 he's going to throw the ball over 30 times a game. I think he's going to throw the ball a ton this week, especially with not having a running back like David Montgomery. I think Nick Foles is going to be dependent on against this um, defense, and I like him a lot. Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson, they're two different kind of players. I don't think the more consistent guy getting you less than 10 yards of uh, basically um, a reception compared to Justin Jefferson, who's the downfield threat and the boomer bust type of guy. I'm all over Justin Jefferson at 12,500. Dan Montgomery is out. Like I was saying, they have Ryan Null at 10,000. They have Patterson at only 8,000. They don't have Lamar Miller on this slate, which I'm all over Lamar Miller. If y'all go to my DraftKings video in my YouTube channel. So that scares me. And I'm not planning a running back then on this slate for the bears. I like Lamar Miller a ton. And Ryan Null at 10000 I don't think you can pay that off, nor do I think Cordell Patterson is going to pay off the 8000 price tag. They both bumped them up just like they did with DraftKings. I'm not, on either, I'm not on either guy, so I'm just fading the running backs that I'm fanduel. Jimmy Graham is 9500 He's coming into basically a good recent form. I like him at this price point at 9500 but I definitely think Daryl Mooney could score a lot more at 8500 They're basing a horrible defense to the Vikings for the pass catching option. Daryl Mooney is the guy I'm going to go to as, as such a value play, especially if uh, Robertson is still a little bit banged up, which he is going to play, but the knee is still kind of hurting him, so I'm going to watch for that. But my core for this slate is this core right here with Nick Foles, Daryl Mooney, Justin Jefferson, and Dallin Cook. The rest of it, you kind of can fill in yourself if you want to take off Justin Jefferson. I don't mind that, but this is the three-man core that I'm all over. So like I was saying, kickers, I could get to. There's not a lot of value plays on this slate. I mean, you can get to a guy like Anthony Miller, who's a boom bust type of guy. At 7000 that's a good price point for him, especially with Nick Foles throwing the ball a ton. The Irv Smith news is kind of big because that will open up more um, receptions for a guy like Kyle Rudolph or a guy like Tyler Gonklin. All the way down here at 5000 which that's the value play I'm on on Vandal is Tyler Gonklin. He's going to see you a good amount of snaps, and I don't trust Kyle Rudolph, basically. He's 36 years old, and he can barely play on the field. I'm all over Tyler Conklin. I think he's an end zone threat. The rest of these wide receivers down here, I'm not getting to like a guy like Mike Boone. I'm not getting to, I'm not getting to a guy like Chad Beebe. None of these guys down here I'm going to like. If Like I said, Tyler Conklin is the guy that I'll go to at the lowest of the low, and other than that, I'm basically going to stay up here. So, that pretty much drops up that fast breakdown for Fandle. It's pretty straightforward to me. I'm all over this slate. I'm on this slate. I wish Lamar Miller was on the Fandle slate, but he's not, unfortunately. So hit that like button for me. Guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps me out a lot. And I will have an overlay DFS video up shortly whenever those plays are posted. So, again, hit that like button for me, guys. Subscribe to my channel. And I hope everybody has a good and safe day. Have a good one, everybody.